love the Lord. You ever, you ever been around somebody that you really love? Women, have you ever been around a man that they wasn't no good and everybody but you just love that young man? Have you ever been around with a woman you just hit, you just love? That... Amen. Hello, somebody. The Bible says you got to love the Lord with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul. Hello, somebody. You got to be ecstatic. You got to be crazy about the Lord. Hello, somebody. See, I, I'm not trusting in flesh and blood. I'm trusting in them. I, 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 I was sent of God. Hello, somebody. I'm not trusting in man. I'm not trusting no woman. I'm not trusting no relationship. I'm trusting in God. If you sin against me, you have sinned against God. That's between you and God. I'm gonna keep right on pressing on. Hello, somebody. And I wanna see. I, I, I'm gonna see who's gonna intercede for you. Hello, somebody. Praise be to God. Huh? Amen. Huh? I thank the Lord. Because a biblical could not be forgiven, even with all the gifts he brought us, Abraham prayed for. What you said? Ooh, huh? A uh, Job friend could not be forgiven. And to the man of God prayed for him. Hello, somebody, huh? I thank the Lord, amen. I thought the Bible says, I can two walk together unless they be in agreement. God is God, God we know that the man of God to forgive him. If he don't forgive him, he's a two donor, huh? Hello, somebody. Huh? But because he is righteous, because you see, when you're righteous, when God has put his seed in you, and you got the seed of righteousness. That's why Jesus said, judge righteous judgment. Huh? And, 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 and just like in the book of Proverbs, it says, faith is just like looking into the water. You see your faith, that's just, that's just like the heart of me. See what it is. When you get ready to pass judgment on somebody, oh, they done this. You just don't know what they've done. The righteous thing to do is to say, Lord, not my will, but thy will be done. Amen. Huh? Because you so mad and hurt, you know, forgot about that mess you've been tired up in. Don't you start judgment going the wrong way now. Huh? That's why it's called righteous judgment. Huh? Because the mess that you did, when you really looked at it and all that mess you were tied up in, you knew it wasn't none of you. The Bible said, flesh you come to love. And that devil, you know, that devil, boy, that devil can play on that flesh with that lust. My Lord, that devil can stir that thing up. You right. Like coming out off drugs or something. Like, <laughs> detox. And that, huh? Right. That devil can stir that mess up. Hello, somebody, huh? The Bible says, the Bible says he's a liar. But look at you, look at if you think that the devil is a liar, the Bible says he's a liar. And the father of it. Woo! Boy, talking about dealing with some bad guys. You need the Lord on your side. You need the Lord to handle this thing for real. Hello, somebody. You need God, the power of God, to step in that for real if you want to be the limit. Because, boy, look here. Satan is a, is a God. And he ain't just that guy here. He's the God of this earth. Hello, somebody. Man, look here. He, he, hello, huh? So praise be to God. You need the Lord on your side. You need the Lord to work it out for you. You need the righteousness of God. You need to believe in God. Hello, somebody. That's why the Bible says you can't serve two masters. You have to, you have to, you have to love one and despise the other. You can't serve God in money. Man, you can't be crazy about God and matter of things in this world. You can't love the things in this world. Man, if you love the things in this world, you're already messed up. Uh, that, don't you know that stuff in this, in this world that say you got a hook on you, by? Man, look at him. You go to church and pray all day and preach all night. Man, that devil got something he know you crazy about. Huh? Huh? Hell somebody. But when you love the Lord with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul, hello somebody. When you got your eyes single on God, hello somebody, huh? And don't get mad with yourself if it's not like that yet. Just keep on pressing on. You'll be there. Amen. You'll be there. Pick up your Bible and read it and then begin to get an understanding of what's going on. Amen. Huh? You a child of God. You living for God. You some boy over there busting my mouth. You looking at my wife. You doing this shit. I ain't. Been to belong to the Lord. I ain't got no, I ain't got no problem with you. Good enough. I'm going to go ahead and serve God. Amen. But but hello somebody, huh? But that that don't that don't mean it's over. 
that is mean that God made promises to me. And all the promises of God are yes in Christ. Hello, somebody. You know, I'll tell it on the word of God. Huh? Steadfast, unmovable. Amen? Amen. And I know, look at God, and I ain't no hurry because God ain't no hurry. Hello, somebody, huh? But boy, look at him. Huh? That, how many of y'all know when God show up, he show out? Huh? Hello, somebody, huh? Woo! -hoo! I thank the Lord. Amen? I give God the praise that see, see, I believe in the Lord. Amen. You you don't have to see a thing. You just believe in God. Amen. And you know everything gonna be all right. Amen. You the preacher. I believe in God too, and I'm gonna be all right. Let me tell you something. That's why you need to read the whole thing. Cause actually, what it says is that God looking for them. To worship him in spirit and in truth. What do you mean? The word said that you sin against God. The word said if a man sin against God. That's true. So now if you ain't if you if you ain't believing according to the word. <laughs> Hello, somebody, huh? Huh? See, that's why he says, seek ye for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Huh? That's why in, 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 the, in the 32nd Psalm, huh? And when, when it, you know, it said, God would not behold iniquity. Huh? It is right. Amen. Blessed is the man in whom the Lord will not input sin. Hello, somebody. We won't even put it there. Why? Because he is a righteous man. Because the Bible says, when a man ways please the Lord, he make all of his enemies to be at peace. Hello, somebody. The right when you become righteous in the eyesight of God, when you believe God, when you when, when, when it's placed before you and you receive the righteousness of God, God will not input sin. You can't go around calling Abraham a liar. Abraham is a righteous man. Amen. Christ died, God justified. Where is the sin? Hello, somebody. That's why he said judge, righteous judgment. Amen. You don't want to start judgment in God's house. The Bible says judgment started in the house of the Lord, which shall it be? You really don't want judgment because you want his mercy. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Right. Let, let, that's what the saints say. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You better learn how to love him. Uh, uh, hey, you look at him. The devil get the bottom with you. said that the anointing will destroy the yoke. If I be a man of God and the anointing of God be upon me, huh? know ye not that a little bit of leaven leaven the whole loaf? Don't you know that if you continue with the law that the anointing will rain down on you. Don't you know that it's impossible that he not pour his spirit out upon you? 
hello somebody, huh? Don't you know, hello somebody, that the, that the Bible says it's better to give than it is to receive. Any time you give it, hello somebody, you sow on the seed. Hello somebody. You can't you can't bring, you can't you you can't come before God empty handed. You got to come, but see, look here. When you giving, you releasing a blessing upon yourself. That's why Jesus was telling them about the woman with the two mites. She gave all she had. It was not, it's not in the amount that you give. It's never in the amount you give. You can give a million dollars. And if somebody only have one penny, if they make that sacrifice with that one penny and give it all, and they got nothing at home to fall back on. Hello, somebody. Huh? Oh, now, if you got five or six hundred dollars, you probably use it with that. I miss the man of God. Two hundred. Put two in a hole me a hundred. Don't you understand what happened? The woman gave all that she had, all her life with, all her living. She, she, she trusts God. She, she gave it with a joy for her. But her love for God, she loved God with all her heart, all her mind, all her soul, with nothing keeping her back from, from, from hello somebody. And, and when she gave, Jesus said she went home more blessed off because what she did, look at it. She released the blessing upon herself. God desired to bless you. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. God has a genuine, a holy, an omnipotent desire that you should be blessed. She released, she, it's just like sticking the key into the lock of all prosperity. She stuck the key in there and it worked. And as she began to walk away, the doors of prosperity opened. The windows of heaven were lit up. Ooh. The Bible said he, huh? He poured out a blessing. Not all the blessings in heaven. Not two blessings. A blessing. And he said, You shall not have room enough to receive it. Not even a blessing from God will you have room enough to receive. Huh? That's how awesome our God is. That's how great our God is. Abraham believed in God. He didn't believe in the things of this world. He, he, he used to preach out, I'm glad you said that, the 14th chapter, before it went to the 15th chapter, the kings desired to bless Abraham. And Abraham told the kings, uh, Abraham told the kings, I don't want nothing from you. You're not going to say that you made me rich. Hello, somebody, huh? He, look at church. Somebody in here turn around and tell three neighbors, say, I am blessed of the Lord. Tell three people, say, I'm blessed of the Lord. Uh, so tell three people something best of the Lord. You understand? Let me, let, me, let me show you something. God, when God made a covenant with Abraham, he told Abraham to take 